Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Crystal Opening Commentary today brought to you by a longtime supporter of the channel, Mr. T'Challa, who I must admit I'm a little emotional uh, not only seeing his profile pic, but just we've had a lot of great Black Panther discussions for years and this is the first time that I've commentated a Crystal Opening of his since, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman passed. Um, but in his honor, let us hope that he can pull at least a Black Panther and uh, also, let's hope that the Dropbox pixelation becomes less, well, pixelated. And indeed, that appears to be the case. It is now sharpened itself. Gotta love when that happens. All right, first of nine duels. It was going to be Inferior Iron Man, and then it became Carnage. Now, even though I still really, really love the Venom buff way more than the Carnage buff, some of you have told me that you disagree, that you actually like Carnage more than Venom. And that you don't think I give him enough credit on my channel. And, you know, I take that feedback into consideration when I talk about champs. Uh, Star-Lord was the OG for me. The Act 5 Slayer. People ask me all the time, Prof, how did you beat Act 5? I always say Star-Lord. And maybe I haven't thought about that. Because Star-Lord went from being the best to damage champ in the game to kind of just almost being a an afterthought now. But for a lot of people who maybe don't have the biggest roster, if you get Star-Lord and you can awaken him, you're going to be clearing content that you could not beforehand. So pretty exciting. I remember the Star-Lord versus Stark Spidey debates that raged. Stark Spidey would usually win out though because he just had more utility. There's Inferior Iron Man. Alright, not gonna lie. This is starting out kind of ugly. Come on, give him some good champs. Did he pop these five? Looks like it. Um, Satan herself is the opposite of that, but you know, it's got a champ that's worth the hype. Interesting. Okay. Another eight. Wow. So many dual class crystals. So many months of hoarding for this. Long shot. I love long shot. Let's give this guy a Doom or Captain America Infinity War. Give him that roster changing champion. Ebony Coleslaw is not that. He is um, he's a lot of things, but not that. All right. Come on, show us Doom. Come back, Doom. Quake, Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Popping the five next now. There's Beardo. Okay, what sig is he going to be at? Max? Mm, makes sense. This is all building for four six stars. When you open 18 five stars and you still pray for that six star luck. This is the biggest gamble in the game in terms of God tier champions. Darkhawk is a great champion though. And Mama Bear has him awakened as a six star. She got like him twice in the first five six stars she opened. Pretty crazy. Still doesn't use him much though. So she's kind of lukewarm about the whole deal. But Darkhawk's real good. Omega! Is that a first time platinum star? No way! Bro! Amazing luck! Heck yeah! That's huge! That's huge for your account. How you do? How do you even follow that? Well, with a Colossus pull. A Colossal pull of Colossus. Back-to-back -back mutant god tier slash beyond god tier champs. Holy hell. This is some incredible six-star luck. How's it gonna end? Survey says... <laughs> oh man shout out to Sweeta who actually uses her in god tier abilities but for me she's just satan herself i mean you got omega awakened i need Aegon awakened hey got red max i take him up next colossus is new so is satan but you got the awakened six star wow what a great opening, and because you sped it up, you kept it under five minutes, and you know on this channel, that's how we roll. It's all about getting as many videos as possible in, in an efficient amount of time to get as many shoutouts as I can get in, in the amount of time I have free to, well, commentate crystal openings. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube, and thanks again to this summoner for submitting the crystal opening commentary, and congrats on that six-star luck, man. Awesome stuff.